and I am here with Hariatma Yoga Herbs, hariatma.com, H-A-R-I-A-T-M-A.com. It is Monday morning, the morning after <laughs> Thanksgiving weekend, and I'm hoping that everyone is feeling good, didn't eat too much, had a good time visiting with friends and family. And so today's tip, tip everything tip of the day, is regarding cold and flu season. A lot of time... Um, a lot of people actually ask me questions regarding what to take during this time of year when cold and flu symptoms can run rampant. Um, and so I wanted to share a little bit about that today because for myself, some of you may have read my blog for today, which is all about my experience on Thanksgiving Day detoxing and detoxing in the sense of me working through a cold bug or a flu bug, whichever one it was that I um, that came into my system. So in just three days, I was able to purge it from my system, and I wanted to share some of the things that I use when I feel under the weather or when I feel myself starting to come down with something. Um, one of the first things you want to do is listen to your body. So if you are feeling headaches, if you're feeling fatigued, if you're feeling that scratchiness in the back of your throat. Everybody has a different sign, but we all know what it is. We all know it's that little scratch on our shoulders that's saying it's time to take care of yourself because you're starting to feel like you're going to get sick. So before it has grown into a full-blown cold or a full-blown flu, you want to get on your medicines. You want to get into your kitchen lab and work out things for yourself to get your body well. So this is what I did. Wednesday, I started to feel that scratchy throat because that's how it usually gets me. I start feeling this scratchy throat or I might start sneezing a lot and just feeling a little more fatigued. So right away, I went to Whole Foods and I got Sovereign Silver. I really like this brand in particular, Sovereign, Sovereign Silver, because it's Ionic Size Silver. Ionic Size anything goes into your bloodstream really quickly. Um, there's a lot of colloidal silver brands out there and um, some of them are more of a flake type of a thing which is there's some controversy around whether that gets stuck in the body or whether it crosses the blood the bloodstream and gets into the cells. So I let you make your decision but silver in itself is going to be a good supplement. Whichever brand you like, whichever brand you want to use. I like the Ionic size. I like Sovereign Silver. They have a lot of info on their website um, regarding their particular way of lab testing everything to be sure that the silver has the potency that it's saying that it claims to have and blah 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 and I've found it to work over the years so what I do is get the sovereign silver and I start taking it around the clock literally every couple of hours I'm doing about seven dropperfuls of that and those don't fill all the way up so they've just seven of whatever it full it fills is what I do around the clock every two hours because what that does is colloidal, colloidal silver acts as a natural antibiotic so it doesn't kill the good it kills the bad and it builds your immune system so it's a really good thing to take instead of and not a antibiotic that's prescribed by the doctor which wipes out your whole system and creates super bacteria and all these other ugly things that we don't want so with colloidal silver you are naturally building your immune system um, and when I add that, the other thing that I do is I try to clear my schedule so that I can get a good night's sleep. Usually for me, when I get sick, it's generally because I haven't gotten enough sleep a few days in a row. So my immune system gets weakened, something gets introduced, and bam, there you have it. So I automatically start clearing my schedule so that I can get a good night's sleep um, to give my body a chance to heal. So that was Wednesday night. Wednesday night I got the, the colloidal silver, started taking it. That night I came home took a bath. I took a salt bath. So whatever salt you prefer, there's um, something at Whole Foods called Dead Sea Minerals. Those are really natural mineral salts. I happen to have Epsom salt in my um, cabinet. So I use Epsom salt. Epsom salt, there's people that don't like it and there's some negative things about it out there. It works fine for me. It might work fine for you. If you want to stay on the highest of purity, go with the Dead Sea Mineral Salts because those are going to have the least amount of preservatives or chemicals or whatever it is that um, could interact with your system. I happen to have it there. It's very accessible Epsom salt. You can go to CVS and grab a bag of it for like three or four bucks. 
Um, so for me, it worked. So I put it, put in the Epsom salt, soaked in the Epsom salt bath. That brought on a sweat. So it just made it so that I sort of put myself into a spa situation where I was sweating and releasing out the toxins. So the next step that I took was the neti pot. So the neti pot, I could feel um, that there was some blockage in particularly my left nostril. It was really blocked here. And so I started with the neti pot on Wednesday night. I gave myself a neti flush and I didn't see much come out on that side. I left it alone for that first day because I wasn't sure how far, far it was going to progress. So I just did it once that day. And I used, um, this is a, actually an ancient um, sea salt specifically for the neti pot. Um, you could use sea salt as well. Like it doesn't have to be this particular salt. But just that it's salt because the salt in itself helps to flush out whatever bacteria have been introduced into your nasal passages. And so those bacteria, they can attack your your eyes, your ears, your throat. So that's why usually um, it, it's in this cavity and then it works its way down into the lungs if you don't catch it here. So mine was still up here in the nasal passages. It hadn't even progressed really to the, to the throat. So I did the neti pot. I went to sleep early. I woke up um, actually through the night with really severe blocked nose. So I started getting up um, I guess I got up maybe 3 in the morning because I just couldn't breathe because it, it didn't subside. Sometimes you can do those steps and you've caught it early enough where all your symptoms will subside. But for me, the symptoms didn't subside, they increased. So I got up at 3 in the morning. This is now Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day, early in the morning, 3 in the morning. I got up, went into the um, shower. I put the shower on hot so that it felt like a steam was in the, ba was in the um, bathroom. I didn't get under the hot shower, but I was in there with all the steam from the hot shower. So that helped to open my nasal passages up. I put a few drops of mint essential oil in the bathtub so it made it like I was just humidifying myself with mint, which opened up my lungs, opened up the nasal passages, and then I added extra of that salt into the water. So it did burn as, it, as I was clearing my nostrils. You could, I could feel the burn from the salt. But what it did was it really, the salt really broke through the block that was on this side. So it took me about four flushes on one side, four flushes on the other. And what that means is I had to fill this up about eight different times. And I did four, um, I'm going to do a whole other video on how to use the neti pot, but we're not going to go into that today. But I did four on each side. My right side, clear, just flowing. Left side, it took up until the fourth time for it to finally start to release. And that's when I started to feel some relief. So all of this flushing, detoxing, mucus was coming out. And this is a good thing. What generally happens when we get sick is we run to the pharmacy or we run to the doctor. The doctor will prescribe many times antibiotics when they aren't necessary. Um, Two, we go to over the counter and we get these sinus, situs, uh, robitussins, and all these things that block the nasal. So what they'll do is the na the your body is putting the mucus there to push out the bacteria that you've contracted, and you are in effect saying, "Oh, I don't want that right now. I'm gonna clog it up. I want to deal with this later." So the body goes, "Okay, sh there's no way to flush this out. She's not giving us a way to flush this out. So we've got to hold on to it." So they bury it somewhere, and then you just feel like you're sick for two months. You feel like you can't kick a cold, or you keep getting the same cold. Every few months, you're getting the same cold. And really, if you just give yourself a chance to detox and flush it out, give your body a chance when it's naturally um, preparing itself to do, then you you heal a lot faster. So it was uncomfortable, to say the least, like to get all that mucus out. I must have been in the shower for almost two hours. I came out, drank almost a gallon of water because all that sweating all that release I needed the hydration now so I drank a lot of water I went into the kitchen I made green juices so this right here is a, a green smoothie some of you have the recipes from this from doing my HO2 cleanse program this is a green smoothie it has um, chard in it kale in it um, whatever greens I have going in the fridge is what I put in there and um, I actually made smoothies and juices um, and pretty much was on that for most of the day. I had a salad um, with a little bit of quinoa in it, and I was taking my tonic. This is the HO2 tonic, which many of you 
have taken um, through the HO2 cleanse program and you know how nutrient dense it is, high in iron, vitamin C, all those things. So I was taking that because I knew that as I was fasting, that was going to give me a lot more of my nourishment and really help to push and cleanse out the blood and liver, which also helps to build your immune system. So I was doing those things. And then my final thing that I added in, which I really loved, actually there was two other things I did, so I'll go over both. But I really loved taking this tea because when you're sick, it's nothing better than a bowl, hot bowl of soup and um, a hot tea. You just, it makes you feel comforted. And so I made actually a vegetable soup, um, not that day, but I think Wednesday is when I made the vegetable soup. Thursday was Thanksgiving day. So I was just trying to be well enough so that I could prepare the food that I had promised friends that I would be preparing later. So I wasn't in cook mode at all. I was in more juicing and, you know, just staying, keeping the body light so that it could really flush everything out. And while I was going through that phase, I was drinking this tea. And in this tea is cinnamon, ginger, and cayenne. Fresh cinnamon, fresh ginger, fresh cayenne. When I say fresh, like here. Little simple organic seasoning. And, um... And I put a little bit of stevia in it, maybe a little agave if you want it to be a little sweeter. Stirred that up and drank that all throughout the day. Cinnamon is incredible for, um, on a on a on, on a energetic level. It it enhances your auric field. It fights off bacteria. Ginger very good for purging the system. And cayenne, of course, will will encourage your body to release release, release, mucus, sweat, all those things. So that was really, really helpful for me to have that. And then the final thing that helped tremendously, tremendously, I almost forgot this last one, is this, rosemary, rosemary leaf, fresh rosemary, which you can get um, in your spice section at any grocery store, rosemary. I put rosemary in a pot, put it on the stove with water, boiled the water, and at least three times a day I kept boiling the water and I would just sit it in my room and literally like put my face hang hanging over the bed with a towel and just steamed my face, my nostrils with that rosemary. Not only did it really open up my pores, like my skin looked incredible for those couple of days, but it also really helped to soothe the nasal passages and again just gently help that bacteria to release. So um, I was able to go that Thursday night and joined a lot of my friends for um, a vegan Thanksgiving that one of my friends does every year. I was able to make the food and I actually felt better doing it and I made sure that I didn't infect anyone else. I was very sanitary while I was cooking. And then the next day I woke up and I already started feeling better. So you count the days. Wednesday is when I first started feeling the itch, got you know the, the veggie soup going, got started on the silver regimen. Thursday it had progressed. So now I'm in full detox mode and I shared those tips with you. By Friday I was in recovery and I was actually at another friend's um, Thanksgiving event having a great time. No um, mucus coming out. I was pretty much better, like I would say 75-85% better by Friday. Saturday, gone. Today, you hear me. I'm, it's fantastic. So three days three days you can knock this out and actually day one if you catch it really early and you real and you give your you put yourself to bed and you get that sleep you might not even have to progress a lot of times I'll do this and it never goes to that second step but every now and then my body um, you know your immune system gets weakened for a lot of different reasons even if you're healthy and so I did what I needed to do to get rid of those bugs so you can do the same Hope this helps. Um, I am actually on the HO2 Cleanse call right now. We have a conference call that happens every Monday from 12 until 1 p.m. It doesn't actually go for an hour. We usually go for about 15 minutes, and then I open it up for a Q&A. So if there's anyone that has joined the call, I'm dialed in now. Let me know that you've joined the call. Let me know what questions you have, and I'll raise them now. Um, if not, I'm going to give the number for anyone who's interested in dialing in in the future. The number is 605-475-4000. And our access code for our conference is 92666-POUND. So I hope to see you, talk to you maybe on one of these calls. Um, go to my website, find out more about this HO2 cleanse that I have going on. It's at hariatma.com, H-A-R-I-A-T-M-A.com. The very next one that we'll be leaving, leading as a group 
over Google Hangouts is 12, 12, 12. And that's a very powerful day. So I hope to see you there. If you're not able to cleanse then, we do this every month on the new moon. And the next one will be in January. That date will be soon to come. So check out and follow and find out what's up with the Age of Two Cleanse on hariatma.com, H-A-R-I-A-T-M-A.com. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.